Okay, so I'm sitting here in my car and I'm about to uh, go run into my studio real quick and then um, go pick up my son. And I'm like super emotional right now because um, there's just been an obscene amount of positive feedback and that's what I'm really trying to focus on. Um, I don't know why I felt compelled to post that picture that I posted. Um, I don't know why I felt compelled to defend myself. Um, today it just so happened that it was kind of a crazy day besides being really crazy and emotional and I kind of had an epiphany about myself um, when I was on a call and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in tomorrow's video but um, uh, but uh, I had 18 tags on that picture today. 18 between sending me private messages and tagging me on Instagram. That's where most of them came from. Um, and then on Facebook and then private messages. And um, I tried not to look at the comments. I really did. Um, I did have somebody that specifically wrote, um, uh, I don't know why people are judging or saying negative comments about, and they wrote at Jen Aguirre 7877, which is my uh, Instagram name. Um, and again, I don't know why I felt compelled to make this, but it kind of, um, I, the reason why I decided to make this video real quick is that it kind of like brought up something in me and, um, and that's why it's like, I was going to write something else, um, basically saying to people before you sit there and you judge somebody, I really hope that you're perfect and you should really get to know them. And it's sad. Uh, I did have somebody private message me this, this morning. Um, and it's bringing up That's the reason why I just got so emotional because it's bringing up old feelings of what I went through back, back, back in the day. And that's the reason why I appreciate everybody giving me credit. I really, really, really do. I appreciate it more than, you know, but every time I, I go there, I see it. And then I, it just reminds me that there were negative comments on it. And then it brings back old memories of all the negativity that was around me, the not support that I got and all this other stuff. And the message that I got this morning was specifically from somebody that said that they struggle so much because of their lack of support. Um, and this angers me. It angers me so much. It really does because it's terrible that people have family members that are supposed to be blood. And the only thing out of their mouth, no matter what, you're not a drug addict and you're not an alcoholic. You're working out. You're being healthy. You're obsessed about something positive. And they have the audacity to say something negative to you about it or say something negative at all. Shame, shame on them for saying anything other than I support you in anything that you do. Shame on them. And that is the reason why I avoid that. And it's not even around me. Like, it's not like it's in my studio and somebody's telling it to my face or, I mean, somebody said something to me stupid the other day. I was on the treadmill and I apologize for even using that word, but I was on the treadmill and she waved in my face as I was getting ready to start. I, so I hadn't started yet. And she waved at me and she said, she like looked me up and down and said, you must be on like a lot of supplements and stuff like that to look like that. And, uh, what are you on, especially because you're probably going through menopause. And I was like, I can't even believe you just, and I said to her, I can't even believe you just said that. Thank you for telling me that I look old. Um, but no, I'm not on any supplements. And I put my headphones on and she waved at me and said she was, she didn't mean anything by it. And I just put my headphones back on and whatever. So like, I'm not really. And, um, but I have the opportunity of only allowing positive people in my life. And if somebody says something negative on Facebook or too many negative comments, whether they're directed at me or not, I have the power of blocking them. So I never have to see it again. Um, and again, getting back to family or friends or anything, you, it does not matter that you guys have the same blood running in you. If they do not support you and they are not true partners in this journey of what life is supposed to be about healthy, happy memories, then they don't deserve to be in your life. And I am so sorry. 
And if, if anybody doesn't like hearing this, then you don't have to follow me. You don't have to watch my videos anymore. You could press stop now and two fingers to you. I really don't care. But at the end of the day, if your family doesn't support you, you're not, I'm, I didn't, I didn't tell you to murder them. I just told you that you don't have to deal with them and you don't. And when they can come to the understanding that they need to respect your wishes, then you don't need to deal with them every day. If they don't say to you, fine, I support what you do, then you don't need to be around them. If they are not willing to help you become a better person, like people get married because why? They bring out the best in each other. That is what your family is supposed to do for you. So if you have a husband, my husband brings out the best in me and I hope I do the same for him. And I'm able to be me when I'm in front of him. And my mom and my sister, they bring out the best in me now. My cousin, my aunts. But there are people that were in my life that I am now not around anymore because I live in California and because I moved away. And that was part of the reason why. Because I cannot allow that in my life. And I understand that there are traditions out there and there's supposed to be this whole blood. But does blood mean that when you're not around them every other day of the week that you're depressed because of the way that you feel when you are around them? You can only do so much. Like, look at how emotional I got. And I'm a strong person. And I've been practicing my coping skills and my positive affirmations every single day. I do it every day. That's why I post every single day. And what happened today made me so emotional and it just reminded me of what my life was like 13 years ago and if you giving space between people that don't bring out the best in you is what you need then you need to do that and I hope that this video inspires somebody to be a better person and to not allow friends if you want to call them that or family members because I always say take responsibility for your actions and nobody can make you feel anyway. And nobody made me emotional today. I, that's who I am. But I, I, I recognize who I am and that's the reason why I don't allow it in my life. That's what you have to do. You have to recognize that being in this environment, being around that person makes me feel that way or brings up these emotions. So I have to take responsibility for my, my feelings and I have to do what's best for me. Because at the end of the day, at the end of your life, it's going to be you. Only be around people that bring out the best in you. Jesus, only bring it, be with people that bring out the best in you. Because you deserve that. So on that note, I love you. Bye.